Hey, what's up guys? This is Raymond Fon of Traffic Cipher. So by now you should have gone through the Traffic Cipher report and you're probably wondering, okay, so what's the next step? Well, that's what this video is about. It's taking you through the next series of our Traffic Cipher sequence. Now, before we move on, okay, I want to make sure that I actually have read, uh, read the Traffic Cipher report. In case you're wondering, this is a stop sign. It does say stop in Mandarin. It's pronounced ting in case you guys are curious. Now, the reason why you need to read the report before watching the remainder of this video is because this video actually builds on that report. So for this video to mean anything to you and for you to get any value out of this video, you absolutely need to read Traffic Cipher Report and actually implement the steps, simple steps, simple action items inside that report. Okay? So if you haven't done so already, make sure you head on over to trafficcipher.com and go ahead and download that special Traffic Cipher Report for absolutely free. And now, if you have read a report, well, perfect, good for you, right? What's your position yourself in your market? Something like this. Imagine this is your competition, okay? Well, with Traffic Cipher and what you learn and what we're actually going to teach you in this video, this is basically going to become you, all right? Make sense? So basically, by following Traffic Cipher report, you basically position yourself to take over top ranking for your select keyword and phrase. Okay, again, some really simple stuff in the report shows you how you can do that. There's a bunch of case studies. And the other thing is, you don't know this yet, but by following those few steps inside a report, you seriously cut down the otherwise needed SEO effort to rank for your keyword and key phrase by at least 10 folds. I kid you not, okay? Just having, just doing those simple strategies, outline a report, uh, you actually reduce the amount of effort you need for SEO and for those terms. So what now? Do you sit there and twirl your thumb? No. Do you sit there and pick your nose? As tempting as that might be. No, we don't recommend you do that. Or do you sit around lounging and drinking beer like Barney over here? Um, yeah, actually, you think that's kind of cool. You should do it. You should be drinking beer like we do a lot of times. Uh, but beyond that, you actually should be taking action as well. Okay, so what you do is go get some beer, come back, and keep watching the video. And uh, let me show you what you need to do next. What you want to do now is continue the 20 percent effort we outlined. We start outlining the site, uh, traffic cipher report. Okay? And the remaining 20 percent effort, that's going to get you 80 percent results. Pretty simple. Three simple steps. Okay? Broken down three simple steps for you guys. One, make sure your keyword and key phrase appears in your titles. Make sure you have good content. And make sure you have good linking. It's not that hard, guys. Those three steps, it's simple math, right? Now, before we get to that first step, though, okay, there's something that I want to uh, make sure that you're doing. Okay, this one quick thing, and that's basically getting the search engines to recognize your new website. And that's what we call getting quote unquote indexed. Okay, so getting search engines to index your website is the same as getting them to go, hey, wow, Bob Smith, you know, put up a new website. Okay, it looks cool. Let me record it. Let me document it. Let me put it inside my search engine. Let me put it on top of the rankings. Okay. If the search engines don't know your website exists, how is it ever going to rank your website? You can't, right? So what you need to do is get an index. And this, one of the simplest ways we know to get in your website index and quickest way is head on over to dig.com. That's D-I-G-G.com. This is a completely free social bookmarking service. Okay. Uh, it takes like a minute to set up an account. And basically what you do is, once you set up an account, you submit your own website. And Dig takes it, and basically what Dig does, since it's such a popular website and the search engines love it, it's able to communicate to the search engines and go, hey, Bob just put up this really cool website. You should go check it out. And within you know, a matter of sometimes hours, maybe a few days, your website will get indexed by the search engines. And you know, like I said, search engines love Dig, well, then find your website and give it some good McLovin. So let's move on. Now we're talking about adding keywords to your titles. So since Traffic Cipher Report covers really two essential steps, this is step number three. Let's call it step number 3.5 because really get an index kind of 3.0. Okay, so this is step 3.5, adding keywords to your titles. It's really simple, guys. Within your WordPress website, when you put up any posts or pages, Right? All you got to do is put your keyword or your phrase in your title. It doesn't have to be a complete title. It can be part of the title. For example, a page I'm putting up, and I'm trying to rank for Traffic Cipher. Um, I just say Traffic Cipher, 
That's a keyword. It's cool. And that's it. Okay. Uh, oh, a uh, little bonus for you guys. Make sure your URL, okay, doesn't end up looking really ugly. Like trafficcipher.com slash question my P goes 87. What does that mean? We don't know. Okay. It's not readable by not only users, but frankly, the search engines, when they look at that URL, all he knows is, okay, it's trafficcipher.com, but then he doesn't know the rest of it. Doesn't know what else you're trying to rank for with that page or post. Instead, what you want to do is make it readable. Okay, in this case, right, we put it on seonetwork.com slash traffic cipher slash traffic dash cipher dash is dash cool. See, now it's giving even more additional data, more data to search engines. So now they know better, have a better idea of what it is you're trying to rank for, this article, right? So that's a simple change uh, inside WordPress, uh, just like adding titles to the page or post. WordPress makes it super simple. So now we're up to step number four. All right. I mean, once you have a website, you got stuff, start putting content on it. Content helps the search engines understand what they're trying to rank for. Simple, right? Uh, it is really, guys. It's about talking about your topic. You know, if you like Traffic Cipher, you read a report, you know what it's about. You know what you like and, well, you know what you like. Okay. And, uh, you know, basically write an article or a few and put some keywords in it. Don't spam. You know, be natural about it. All right. Talk about Traffic Cipher. Um, and that's it, guys, putting up content. Um, here's a hint. When you're talking about Traffic Cipher, you're probably going to talk about SEO Networker. You might want to talk about Raymond Phone, myself. You might want to talk about Freno Ceballos. Okay? So these different topics, rather than putting up a whole novel on one page, break it into chunks. Break it into a few different articles across different pages, different posts. And each page or post will get its own URL with its own distinct, cool-looking URL, which, again, helps the search engines understand your website better, understand what are the various topics you're trying to rank for. Okay? So here's a hint. Put separate articles on separate WordPress pages and posts. Here's another hint. And this should be pretty intuitive, right? Don't spam. Don't think that by putting 20 gazillion instances of the key phrase, traffic cipher, in your article, it's going to fool the search engines to think, oh, wow, you must be an authority website for traffic cipher. It's quite a counterpart, actually, the opposite. When you spam the search engines with your keyword, when you keyword stuff your keywords inside your article, search engines know that. They're smart enough, to, smart enough nowadays to know you're spamming. And as a matter of fact, not only will not rank you top for that term, they probably won't rank you at all. You'll get penalized. So don't spam, okay? Uh, last step, and not an easy step, just add links, okay? In the world of SEO search engines, a link is like um, getting a vote from somebody else. Uh, it's like a popularity contest, right? And the more, it's just like back in high school when you have like the prom king, prom queen, right? what happens to everybody in the masses? They vote. They put in their votes, and then whoever has the most number of votes, and they win, they become a king, and everybody's happy, right? Except for losers, anyway. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, so linking inside the search engine perspective, a link is basically a website saying, hey, I like Bob Smith's website. Here's his link. That's a vote for your popularity. The mo more votes you have, the higher ranking you're going to get. Okay? So what you want to do when you add links is get as many other websites to link to as you can. And again, the more links you have coming in, the higher your rankings. So what we're going to do now is go get some links. Actually, what you're going to do is go get some links. And one of the simplest ways to get links, right? Just there's so many ways to get links. But the first one you might want to look into is the website Better Networker. And this is BetterNetworker.com. Most likely you heard of it. Most likely you're probably already a member. Okay? And it's completely free to go sign up, create a profile. And with that profile, it can actually add links. Right? You can see here's my Better Networker profile. You can see one of the links I put is, hey, check out TrafficCypher.com. So that's sending a link back to Traffic Cipher, which is basically voting for Traffic Cipher. Okay, that's a link. Another cool thing you can do inside Bear Networker is participate in writing articles, creating videos. And every time you do, you're able to put, again, a link somewhere, right? You can point it back to your website. Uh, you can participate in the forums, right? Uh, when there are different threads, you can have a, a, a signature inside your, your form, right? Uh, in this case, my signature says Traffic Cipher. That's a link. Back to the website, trafficcipher.com. Traffic Cipher is cool. So again, in a search engine's eyes, the browsing bear networker, they're seeing all these links pop up. They're going to go, oh, well, I wonder what this website is about. And again, it's a vote for your website to help it rank higher in the search engines. There are a gazillion other ways to get links. 
Okay, and actually we're going to cover some of that inside Traffic Cipher. Okay, that's a course I'm actually working on that goes in a lot more details in terms of what you need to do, the 20% of SEO effort you want to do to get good rankings quickly. Okay, and beyond that, just getting links, we actually show you some of the ways to automate that whole linking process. I actually show you the way that we were able to use to basically, you know, put in some really quick, uh, quick high rankings for things like PPC domination. Okay. And with that, we're able to generate a few thousand dollars in affiliate commissions from any sponsoring really quickly with a couple hours worth of work. And again, you know, that's there's a few other examples that we list out in the Traffic Cipher report. So make sure you visit trafficcipher.com to register and download that report. Now, what the Traffic Cipher course we're working on is actually going to be done pretty soon. And, you know, the more, the sooner you get your hands on it, the sooner you're going to implement all these other strategies you can use to get top rankings. So what you want to do right now is get on our, um, our not out, <laughs> get on our notification list and basically be the first to get notified when the course is ready and prime and for you to take a look and implement. So head on over to trafficcipher.com slash early to register and you'll be the first to know uh, when Traffic Cipher course is available. All right. With that said, guys, I will talk to you soon. Rock on. Love to see some top rankings. Bye-bye.